What is up, YouTube? It's like Alex Azor, and I am here with my week one battle of the CPC Season 7 versus Andrew, or me is the best, and his Kentucky Fried Dragons, which has the most whack logo I have ever seen. But, uh, despite the fact that this is totally whack, it is still pretty good, and um, he makes some great logos. Uh, if you want anything made artistically uh, for League, go go talk to him. I will put his link in the description, and uh, he makes some amazing stuff, so make sure to hit him up. Uh, so, that shameless plug aside, um, he has got a fairly scary team. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I didn't upload a draft analysis, just I didn't get around to it. Sorry about that. So, my team is Mega Pinsir, uh, Zero Aura, uh, I'm trying to think of the order off the top of my head, Gliscor, Empoleon, Dugtrio, Darmanitan, um, then I've got uh, Absol, Haunter, Electric, I'm forgetting two mons and I'm stalling to try to figure it out, and uh, we're going to go with that, I've named all the mons that are on the screen right now, so we're just going to go with that, uh, sorry about that, but um, so Andrew has got a really scary team, and I do have the list of his full team in uh, in front of me, and that is Celesteela, Mega Diancy, Dragonite, Reuniclus, Crobat, Breloom, Alomomola, Sneasel, Typhlosion, Electabuzz, Sandslash, and Pineco, with his Z users being Dragonite and Typhlosion. Um, this team, I did not like this matchup, except for one thing which I plan on abusing, and that is that Zera Aura absolutely goes in on this man. Um, Sand Slash is his only real switch into Zera Aura. Uh, I suppose a physically bulky, like, Toxic Orb, uh, Breloom could also come, but I feel like Breloom just kind of gets bopped by this team, so I don't think Breloom is likely to come. Really, I don't think Sand Slash is all that likely to come, and if it does, it doesn't do very well versus most of my team. So, I, um... Yeah, I'm okay with uh, with going with Choice Band Zero Aura instead of like Life Orb because I am able to run Adamant this week and very little speed. I got a little aggressive with the speed creep. I could have been safe and just outsped the Crobat, but he's not going to run max speed. And so is what I did. Uh, speed creep was I sped crept his faster Mons, speed creeping my. Mega Pinsir, that's what it was. So if like Sneasel or Mega Diancy speak Group and Pinsir, I will outspeed them. Because the only mon of those that can outspeed, um that can outspeed that, like outspeed my Whimsicott, that's what I was gonna say. Uh is um Crobat. And I just don't think Crobat is gonna run the speed for Whimsicott, because Whimsicott doesn't really do anything to um uh, to the Crobat anyway, and it doesn't do anything to Zero Aura anyway, so I don't think it'll stay in, so I feel like I am okay in running a very aggressive speed creep on that. And Sneasel can outspeed this, but Sneasel will probably click Ice Shard versus B anyway, assuming I am faster, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And the reason I really want all that extra bulk is it does allow me to aggressively switch into things. If Crobat or Celesteela is in, uh, mostly Crobat, and Alomomola, like his passive stuff, I can switch on on that no problem, take the hit because I've got a ton of HP, and then just fire off electric attacks and it's going to destroy everything. I've got Plasma Fist, which I'm going to be clicking like 90% of the time. Close Combat is um, a safer option than Fire Punch, even though Fire Punch would be better uh, versus the Breloom specifically. Um, I don't really ever want to lock myself into Fire Punch, especially because I don't think I'm going to need it because... Um, uh, close combat is just safer to lock myself into, really. I've got quick attack just in case Dragonite gets set up and I have some priority. And Volt Switch just for momentum. I already explained my EVs, so moving on. And then we have got a mixed defensive Empoleon, Scald, Ice Beam, Stealth Rock, and Toxic. Um, the Shooka Berry is to help me take on the Mega Diancy or a Celesteel with Earthquake, uh, as well as, I suppose, the Sand Slash. Um, and my mixed defenses are, obviously this is primarily for taking on Diancy. I believe I also take an A+, 
plus one adamant earthquake from Dragonite, I believe, with this defense investment, and fire back with an ice beam. Um, this, yeah, mostly here to take on Mega Diancy. It can also annoy Celesteel with burn, potentially. Um, but that's mostly it. I really need a Mega Diancy switch in. Uh, next we have got Gliscor with Rock Slide, Roost, Taunt, and Earthquake. Mostly Fizz Def with enough speed to outspeed Adamant Dragonite. This takes on Dragonite extremely well if it lacks Ice Punch. Um, and even then, like I said, I, uh, if he's Jolly and does outspeed this, then I take the hit fairly easily. Um, and if he's Adamant, I do outspeed and hit a lot with Rock Slide. Um, also takes on the Crobat relatively well, um, relatively, because a Taunt Roost said could be annoying to this, but my Toxic Orb heals so much that I think I can take it on pretty, pretty easily. Um, and other than that, that's mostly its role. It can also take a hit from Mega Diancy if needed, um, and from Celesteela, uh, I will say right here though, I did some calcs after the battle started, I don't take on Celesteela as well as I thought I did, but we'll see when we get into it. When we get into it. Got an interesting set here with Doug Trio with um, Yachi Berry, Earthquake, Stomping Tantrum, Final Gambit, and Aerial Ace. I will add here, I had Stomping Tantrum to use after Aloma Mola clicked Protect because Earthquake would fail. I then realized after that that's not how Stomping Tantrum works. Um, but that was the original intent behind this. Final Gambit just for getting some chip off on something like the Celesteela, and Aerial Ace for the Breloom. This is primarily here to trap the Sneasel, which is annoying for my team, and the Breloom. I am outspeeding the Sneasel, uh, and that's pretty much it there. And then we've got the Choice Scarf Darmanitan, uh, Adamant Nature, with the U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. I outspeed everything on his team uh, with the Choice Scarf. Uh, and once Mega Diancy is worn down and Dragonite is worn down or gotten rid of, um, and the Alomomola pretty much, Darmanitan uh, just goes in. But even early game, Darmanitan is going to force in that Alomomola 100% of the time, and so that will allow me to get my Zera Aura in very easily, which is the goal of this team. I want Zera Aura in as much as possible because it absolutely shreds him, barring the Sand Slash, which could be very annoying. Oh, that was another reason I had close combat, because it hits Sand Slash harder. And finally, I had a lot of options for this last uh, set. I actually was very close to bringing a sub endeavor set of mega pincer to lure and um damage the celesteela but i unfortunately decided not to bring that it would have been so fun but because the reuniclus is a problem i have a life orb absolute with sd knockoff sucker punch and taunt i really don't need dark um like anything other than dark i should say uh because mega diancy is really his only resist besides sneasel which is not a resist uh but I don't want to rely on having to predict Mega Diancy coming in because I have the reliable switch in in um, the Empoleon, so I'm not really too worried about it. I feel like Taunt could be really nice for annoying the Alomomola and for even the Crobat, so I'm okay with that. Super luck to fish for crits, admittedly. I mean, it is my best ability in this situation, so we're going to go with that. And that is a team. Let's get on into the battle. And, as you can see, he brought more or less what I expected, except he did bring the Sand Slash. I have to get a drink of water. But, Sand Slash... God, Sand Slash is annoying to this team. Just because I'm not able to freely spam electric moves with Zera Aura, which I guess that's why he brought it. That's fair, I suppose. I really... I just thought it was so bad versus everything else in a lot of cases that I just didn't think he'd bring it, but, you know, it can take hits from Darmanitan as well, so it, it was a fair bring, I suppose. I just was really disappointed to see it. And the Reuniclus, I just wished I didn't have to deal with. I really expected a Loma Mola to come, but he didn't, so... Oh well. But of course, he's got this duo here. Really, this trio is horrifying, so let's get on into it. He's going to lead off with the Sand Slash. I lead off with 
the Glyscore here. As you see, I switch out into Napoleon. This is a weird start to the game. I had it in my head that he was going to click knock off turn one because if he could knock off my Toxic Orb on Gliscor, that would be just hugely detrimental to Gliscor. So I was so afraid of that, I switched out into Empoleon, which was a problem. Um, but as you see, he is just gonna go for Stealth Rocks, and I'm kicking myself at this point. So I knew I'd take the Earthquake pretty comfortably with the Shooka Berry, but he's got the Pasho Berry. So that also is annoying because that thing is sticking around. And so Celesteela comes out, I go into Gliscor, I taunt him to prevent him from leech seeding me, but he does go for the Autotomize, so I know he's offensive. Rock Slide, here's where the calcs come into play. Rock Slide does a hell of a lot less than I expected, and Hidden Power Ice does a lot more than I expected. So I realize I can't take this thing on with my Gliscor, and I'm really going to struggle with this. So I'm going to make the aggressive switch out into Darmanitan on the HP Ice, but he's going to predict that, go for the Earthquake, and that is a huge problem. This thing is scaring the shit out of me. But I go into Zara Aura here. I realize if he's defense invested, I can't knock it out with Plasma Fist, so I Volt Switch, sack my Doug Trio, and now I'm going to go back into Zara Aura. But, of course, it's obvious what I click here, uh, so he goes into the Sand Slash. I should have just clicked Close Combat, but I was just too afraid of this thing. So I go into Absol, I don't have switch-ins to this thing. Um, so, yeah, I come in here, claim a kill with Knock Off, and that is that. He goes into Crobat here, I go for the Sucker Punch, but he's gonna be a cursed set of Crobat with the White Herb. I'm like, what in the hell? He's going to set up another one as I just click Taunt to prevent this thing from getting too out of hand. And I'll get a Sucker Punch off, but since he's at plus two defense, that's not going to do much. Now I'm going to go Empoleon, click Ice Beam as he does a ton with Brave Bird. And he is going to be able to live uh, on just a little bit. And he's going to go into Reuniclus. I'm like, oh shit, this might be game. I go for Toxic just in case he's Regenerator, but he's not. So I go into Zero Aura here, and here's where I'm just panicking because um, I saw the Acid Armor, and so I thought, okay, he's not Calm Mind. But then he goes for the Calm Mind, and I realized he did bring just Mono Psychic, even though I have an Absol, which is now making me so regret sacking that thing off. Uh, I it, I really shouldn't have done it, so. I'm just gonna see if I can bust my way through here with Zara Aura, but since he's at plus two, Plasma Fist is only gonna do 27%. He's gonna recover, and I know I can't beat this thing. So this is this was a very like just poor class sore loser kind of move. I just rage quit right here because I did know that barring a crazy amount of crits and such, um, I wasn't able to beat this Reuniclus. However, I should have finished the game out. Um, that is the rules of the CPC. Unless it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup and you know what's going to win, um, you just play the game out. And so I, I I was lucky to get off of the warning here, but it, it was a very low, just low-class play. I'm very sorry, Andrew. Um, I, I really am. I shouldn't have done that. I was very salty. And... Uh, this one right, you earned this win. You brought just the right team. You played perfectly around it. I mean, it was it, it, there was there was no hacks or anything that made me salty. It was just I was mad at how I played and prepped, and all the credit to you. You you did a great job here. So we are gonna start off um, season one or season one week one of season seven with a 5-0 loss, putting ourselves in a pretty deep hole. That really sucks, um, but. It is what it is. We'll come back from it. And so, uh, that is a game. Great game to Andrew. Uh, if you guys like what the Oakland is up so doing, make sure you like, subscribe, share. Do what you do with the YouTube videos. I'm gonna get on out of here and see you guys later. Wait, that's not the end recording button. God damn it.